Anime RPGs are my favorite types of video games, and 2022 looks like it's going to be a pretty sick year in terms of anime-related game releases. One of the most promising of these titles comes in the form of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, an anime RPG that is going to directly challenge Tales of Arise for the title of the most stunning anime game of the last decade. Yeah, sorry all you Genshin fans out there. Quick shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. This allows you to directly support us if you're interested. Every patron will have their name appear at the beginning of every single YouTube video, and you'll be immortalized in the MMO genre forever. Now before you go jumping to conclusions, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink was confirmed to be releasing this year as is noted on their website, coming in 2022 for PS5, for PS4, and for Steam platforms. And while the game has seen repeated setbacks over the years, I think this might finally be it. The confirmation of a PC release, specifically via Steam, was more of a recent reveal. In December 2021, a full trailer was released for the game, detailing a variety of different environments, various characters you go about recruiting, the action combat, the PC version of Relink is going to be releasing at the same time as the PlayStation versions, despite the PC version being confirmed only recently. One of the things that I personally find most appealing about Relink, well, I mean, apart from the incredible world and the waifus we'll be able to recruit, the fact that you can play as either a male or a female character, it's the fact that it's going to be co-op compatible. Now, I don't know about you guys, but personally, for me, I've spent the bulk of my gaming life ever since I was a child playing video games by myself, completely solo. Like, again, I don't know about the majority of you, I assume that a lot of you can relate. Now, after meeting and subsequently marrying Mrs. Sticks just several years ago, we found ourselves drawn to co-op friendly titles. Being able to enjoy a game by yourself is one thing, but being able to share that enjoyment of a game together with your significant other is something so much better. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is going to offer cooperative functionality for up to four different players. There is, however, conflicting information available online as to how the co-op is going to operate. Some sources have stated that the game is going to feature a single player campaign with multiplayer functionality. Then there are other sources that claim that it's going to be a single player campaign with with everything else being multiplayer compatible. Regardless of which of these two are actually correct, being able to participate in at least part of the game together is going to be a significantly better, a substantially more enjoyable experience than had we not been presented this opportunity at all. Even as limiting as Tales of Zestiria was for more than one player, it was a more enjoyable experience purely for that reason. Unfortunately, even though it was confirmed to be releasing quote unquote here worldwide in 2022, yeah, actually worldwide, this is not going to be a Japanese exclusive game. And again, while this was confirmed to be coming this year, we do not have a specific time frame. They were a little uh, <laughs> vague with their announcement, as Japanese developers always tend to be. Here's looking at you, Bandai. And given the last post made on their Twitter page was roughly three months ago on February 4th, it's honestly a little bit disconcerting, and I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. Over the course of January, they showcased various different characters that we're gonna be capable of recruiting throughout our journey. In February, they simply reposted their trailer from back in December, asking players what they were most excited to see in the game. But three months later and still no news, when we're already almost halfway through the year, man, I genuinely hope that this is not a sign of what we can expect from either the devs or its release this year. I've been looking forward to Relink since last year and I could not take another year of delays. We have been waiting on this since 2016, six whole years now. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink 
could go down as one of the greatest anime RPGs of 2022. There is some solid competition for that title, but I think this game has it in the bag, with the only real competition, I guess, being Xenoblade Chronicles 3. But from its massive, stunning open world for players to explore to its fast, fluid action combat with some of the best special effects I have seen in an anime game to date, to the visual aesthetic, the style of the game being one of the highest quality outside of Tales of Arise, it is a culmination of more than half a decade's worth of efforts from one of the largest anime RPG franchises within Japan. Here's hoping that it can live up to the expectations of its player base though, as they are unbelievably high at this juncture. For those of you that are interested in other JRPGs coming out this year though, I actually have a list of upcoming JRPGs over on my spin-off Sticks channel. Just click this video right here on screen now and uh, head on over there.